winders for wire. How many times you get out there, and I just want to get set up. I don't care to be diddling around with untangling wires and doing silly things with them. So we've all seen these winders. You can get them on Amazon for a fairly cheap price. They come in a pack out of five, and they work pretty good. They, they work great for radios and things like that. And we've all seen these winders that work real good too, but still with the smaller Teflon wire and there's 60 some feet of it on there, they, they kind of get a little loops in them and tangled up a little bit. And so I'm gonna be trying out something today. It's something totally different. It's an, a kite line winder also bought on eBay. As you look at it, it's got a real good wide channel for putting in wire. Uh, I have one wand up here, I'll show you in a minute, that's actually got the LEFS 8010 on it. And it also the 80 part, which is another 60 feet. So there's over 100 feet of wire, 120 feet of wire actually on these. They seem to be built real good. A couple of handles for holding them. Uh, in the front, you can see, and I'll show some other pictures. There's a real nice, uh, it's like you have on fishing reels to put the line through. I'm not sure if it's ceramic or not, but it really lines the wire up on there good. We'll just go out into the field today and see what we can do with this. And uh, we're going to activate the Ice Age Trail, the IAG in the Northwoods of Wisconsin here. I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, this is what it looks like with everything wound up on it. Of course, I don't want to disconnect this. This is the chameleon cha lefs 8010 it's got 63 feet of wire on it plus like i say the extra 60 feet for the 80 uh portion of the wire but it all fit on the winder real nice we're gonna give that a shot see what happens uh, and i'll get back to you a little bit later see you then So as I wind the video down here, I'd like to encourage you to stop by with the comment section below. Tell me what you think. Uh, I got a screenshot of also what the unit weighs. It's about 11 and a half ounces. Won't take up a whole lot of weight in your backpack. And also a little picture of the eyelet that I was talking about that the wire would be going through. Take care and see you down the log in Tune and Burn 73 from KD9 MSP in the Northwoods of Wisconsin.